Tikum chona wa bandu. I'm chona wa bandu. That's my name. Let's get started. I don't wanna waste time. If you face time, make sure you come right here and subscribe. Share this video to a lot of people. Let's get started. So the first question they say solve this question right here. So first and foremost, whenever you have a question uh, like this mathematical expression, and then there's a lot of sign. I mean, there's a plus, multiplication, division, and then plus and subtraction. So what you do, you have to use this uh, simple formula, which is uh, it's like a trick. It's called board mass. Board mass. So what you do, you look at the bracket. If you have a bracket, make sure you simplify that bracket and you get done with it. And then you go for division. That division, you simplify, you get done with it. And then after that, you go for multiplication. You simplify the multiplication and then you get done with it. And then you go for addition like that and then subtraction. So this is bracket. Division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. So you have to go with that. Like you go this way, you start from the left, you go to the right. Now we go. Do you have a bracket in this one? No, 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 no. Yes. So we have this is the bracket here. We need to work on this face. But inside the bracket, there's a lot of sign. It's not like you have two expressions, a lot of sign. Which sign? We have a minus and division. So which one are you going to start with? You must start with the bracket division. Oh, must start with the division. So what division face? 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals to 3. Oh, so it's like, look, it's like 9 minus 6 divided by 3. I'll just copy it aside. So we start uh, with this face. You know why we start with this? Because in the bracket, bracket division. Oh, so we must start with division. 6 divided by 3, we get 2. So it's like 9 minus 2 means if this one I have to remove it, it's going to give me 2. And then we still have a bracket and then square. 9 minus 2 equal to 7, and then you have a square, because this 9 minus 2 equals 7, and then we have a square. So 7 square, 7 square is like 7 times the same thing. 7 times the same thing, but uh, 2 times means because it's 2. So 7 times 7 equals 49. Oh, so this is going to give us 49. So all this stuff with the power, it gives us 49. So meaning, all this stuff here equal to 49. So I can erase that in the right 49 here. And this is 49. Give us 49. See what I'm saying? So let me send you about this square or cube or whatever. Somebody give us say, uh, let's say this is uh, 8 power 4. That means like 8 times the same thing, times the same thing, times the same thing. Because of this power here. You see what I'm saying? So there must be 4 of them multiplied by the same thing. That's what I say here. This is 7 squared. Means take 7 times the same thing twice. If it's Q, means it's 3, you multiply by the same thing, but 3 times, like, let's say 2 power 4, means like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 of them, okay? Now we go. So, we're done with the first part of there, now we continue simplifying, okay? Okay, just a second guys, thank you so much. Now we come here. So this is what we have now. So we continue to uh, our board mass. Oh, uh, just board mass. Board mass. My board, board mass. Okay, bracket. We're done with the bracket. Now we go for division. Do you have a division here? Power divide. Yes, we have. So what divided by what? Means 2 power 4 divided by 8. Oh, so the next step. Uh, do you have a bracket? No more. Division. Oh, yes, we have this. So this is 2 power 4. And then divide by 8. What is 2 power 4? 2 power 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then all this divide by 8. But 2 times 2 equal to 4. 2 times uh, uh, 2 times 2 equal 4. 4 times 2 equal to 8. 8 times 2 equal 16. So 16 divided by 8. Okay, 16 divided by 8 equal to 2. Oh, so if I have to remove this place here, if you remove this, it means it's going to give me 2. I can move this and write 2 instead of. I can replace by 2. I can substitute that stuff by 2. So what do I have now? Do you have another division? No. Do you have a multiplication? Yes, we do have. Which one is that? This one here. So we say 3 times, because multiplication next. 3 times 2 equal to 6. Okay, so I'm not going to write this 2 or write 6. So I can write 6. So what do I have? I have a 7 plus 6 minus 49. Next one, addition. Addition means 7 plus 6 is equal to 13 and then minus 49. And this one you might as well give us negative 36. 
So our first question is negative 36. The first question, the answer is negative 36. That's the first one. So we're done with the first question, we go to the question number two. The first one is negative 36. Negative 36, the question number one. That's the answer. Okay, let's go to question number two. Okay, so question number two. Question number two is easy because they say here if a equal to negative three, b equal to four, and c equal to negative five, then but how much is the product of a, b, c is greater than the sum of? So first and foremost, you need to know this group and the value of this group because they say here uh, how much the products get the products and then get this sum and then find how much this is bigger than that. Let's get the product first. So a, b, c, a. B, C. Product means multiplication. You can see when there's no sign, meaning there's a multiplication between. So if somebody give me, let's say, X, Y. X, Y meaning between X and Y, there's a multiplication. Even if they don't write it, but uh, you have to know there's a multiplication. You see what I'm saying? So now we're going to say here, let's get the products. So the product of these two, three means multiplied. They even say here, the products of these. So even if they don't tell you, but you have to know the products means you multiply. Or even if they don't write that products, you know A, B, C means A times B times C. What about of A? A equal to negative 3. So I'm not going to write this A. I'll write negative. It means I'll replace this A with negative 3. Now I'll replace this B with 4. And replace C with negative 5. So let's multiply them all. Negative 3 times uh, 4, negative 12. Times negative 5, go to positive 60. So the first group we know is positive 60. Let's go for the second group. The second group is A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C. What does that mean? What the value of A? We know the value of A. A equal to negative 3. But what you do, you plus. See here, plus? Plus B. What the B? B equal to positive 4. And then C equal to negative 5. So instead of side to C, we write what? There's a plus. And then negative 5. Now we go. Negative 3 plus 4 minus 5. Okay, now we go. Negative 3 plus 4 equal to positive 1. And then here we have a plus or minus 5. Okay. This hand, plus and minus give us minus. So minus uh, 1 minus 5. And then 1 minus 5 equal to negative 4. Negative 4. So this half here equal to negative 4. Now let me ask something. Excuse me. Okay, let's say um um let's let's assume let's assume let's um let's um um fifteen years old and you two years old. Okay, so how much uh, am I bigger than you? Means you have to am I bigger than you? Means I have to take me my age minus your age. You see what I'm saying? So here they say uh, how much the products ABC is greater than this. Means we have to take this minus that. Means take this 60 minus negative 4. So we're going to say 60 minus, but here is minus 4. Whichever number is here, we'll write here. So plus and minus, they give us plus. So this is going to give us 60, 4. In other way, if you have a number line like this, let's say this is 0. And a plus b plus c equal to negative 4. Uh, a, B, C equal to 60. So how much this is bigger from here means how many steps you're going to walk from here all the ways. How many steps? Look. Negative 1, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. 4 steps. And then walk another 60, which is going to give us all 64 together. So we know A, B, C is going to be greater by 64 to get to A plus B plus C. Let's go to the last question. The last question is more easy
Okay, cool. Now let's go for this question, easy question. Now let's say simplify this. After you simplify, and then you have to look which is going to give you the accurate answer. Whether this group, this group, that or that. So, let me take a question. So over here they say 2 over x, and then minus 5, it's just a 5, excuse me. And then over 6 plus 3 over x. So let me tell you something. If you have a 5 or 10, what is 10? 10, if somebody say 10, and 10 divided by 1 is the same thing because 10 divided by 1 you go to 10 and if you say 10 is a 10 so if you have a number or whatever expression if you can say over 1 it doesn't make any difference so this 5 I can say is 5 over 1 and this 6 I can say 6 over 1 because I want to work with a fraction so it's good to have a both of the fraction so now I'm going to say this is the same as say uh, now I'm going to do look I want to make common denominator so I want to take this number multiplied by that so you only do that if your sign is plus or minus, but for multiplication, division, the link is below, okay? For fractions, I've explained all the fractions in my video in the link below. So now I'm gonna take this face multiplied by that. You see, you must start, don't start with this, you're gonna be wrong. You must start with this one, with it. Okay, so one times two equal to two, and then your sign is negative, negative. Now we go for this one x times 5 equal to 5x over they multiply this 2 x times 1 equal to x and then you over so you're done with the top one now we go for the denominator denominator you do the same game this with that 6 times x 6x x, plus plus 1 times 3 equal to 3 and then you over multiply this to 1 times x equal to x so mathematical you see you got group on top and group at the bottom. So it's acceptable to to cancel this because they're like. So I'm saying you have two groups. Look, this is at the denominator and this is a denominator. So you can cancel because they both are the denominator. So and then after this, so we will be left with you're gonna be left with uh, two minus five x over six x plus three. So the next step we have that so so we have a 2 minus 5x and then over you see 6x plus 3 so now we're going to factorize here let me explain to you about factorization quick quick but i'm going to touch a link for factorization below but let me just explain quick just a little okay if somebody give let's see uh 5y minus 15. so the factorize means you look at number which is common for both 5y and 15 which number can be taken out for both can you take out 2? No, you cannot take 2 because 2 is not common. You cannot even take because 2 is not common. 5? Oh, yes. 3? No. 3 here? No, you cannot take 5 divided by 3. This one, yes, you can divide by 3. So you have to look at number which is goes for both. Common number. So 5, yes. This number, you can take 5 here, you can take 5. Because common number. So I'm going to take 5, must go out. And then if you take out here 5, you're going to be left with 2y. Minus, minus. If you take 5 for 15, you're going to be left with 3. In other words, take this number, divide by the number which went out. 15 divided by 5, you get 3. 5y divided by 5, you get y. You see what I'm saying? Another way. So that's how you factorize. So what you do, when you get your answer here, for example, uh, this is factorization. And if you want to see if you did correct, take 5 times y, you see you get 5y. Five, 5 times 3, you get 15. It must give you the same thing when you multiply out. So now if you look careful here, on top we don't have any group, any number which is common for both. But the denominator, because here 2 you can take out, but here you cannot take 2 because 5, it does not divide by 2. But here the denominator, we can take 3 because 3 is common for both. You can take 3 from 6, you can take 3 from 3. So now I'm going to say this same as saying, numerator, nothing you can do. But denominator, I can take 3 out here. Now, if you take 3 here, I'm going to be left with 2, 2x. Look, 3 times 2, x, 6x. See? Now, plus, plus. If you take out 3, you're going to be left with 1 because you must take the common number. So, this one here is the final answer, which is this. It's just a waste of time. When you do this question, it is easy like that, man. Thanks a lot. Of you know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, Make sure you subscribe and you know, you can just go and do donation to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon, I have a GoFundMe, you know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, 
any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change and thanks a lot for all your time. You know, subscribe, don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people, you know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can, okay? It's not only for one patient or two, because you might think it's not helpful for you, but for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man, and you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page. Go to our uh, GoFundMe. Because we need to have a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together. Like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment. So that we can improve on you know, a lot of angles, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge, you know. She wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Kamri. I'm yeah. from Sousa Primary School. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to work I'm trying to work I'm trying to work back. Just everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other student. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah. He's grade 11, man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. Distinction. Yeah, so I'm trying to about you everywhere, man. I'm trying to about you. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to about you everywhere. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to about you exactly. everywhere. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. If you had to give advice, uh, which advice would you give uh, to the people or to the students? Trust Amish. <laughs> why, why would they trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I redid first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Amish said lots of hard questions and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you, and um, wish you all the best with your hard work. And just, I just want to say we appreciate you. And uh, we have, I have achieved like 93 percent. Sanmanani, Sanmanani, Sanmanani. This is Uema Onokula Wamkizi Smongo. I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal and I was born in Kwasabisa in KwaZulu Natal. Hello everyone, this is Uketele Numvalo from A. Johannesburg, a matron. I'm studying through E. I would like to thank Mr. Hamish for helping us so, so much. We have actually got 90 to 100% on that. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish Siabong.